going to take you on a fantastic journey through all the features and functions of this great new digital SLR camera. Okay, let's take a look at our playback information screen on the Canon Rebel XSI. Let's take a look at how to use your aperture priority mode and shutter priority mode with the Canon XSI. Now shutter priority mode is the first one we're going to go over. It's called TV, which is short for time value mode. So to use this, just set this upper dial here to the TV mode. And I'm going to do that now. It's time value, the same as shutter priority. And you're going to use your control wheel right up here to make your adjustments. So you see I have 1 200th of a second. I have 1 1 60th, 1 25th. Remember, the lower you go in fractions like this, the longer the exposure is, the more light you're going to let in, but also the shakier or the blurrier your picture could be if you're not careful. So down here you better use a tripod if it's one sixth of a second. Now you'll notice that the exposure meter stays right at zero. That's because as I turn the style and change my time value or shutter speed, the camera is compensating with the appropriate aperture or hole opening to let in just the amount of light, right amount of light. But if you would like to see that aperture opening while you're turning your shutter, you can hit your shutter button halfway down and watch what happens. An appropriate f-stop lines up right there. Now if you go too far in one direction or the other, you're going to see a blinking f-stop, which tells you that, whoa, no matter what I do, you're a little bit out of the range of getting an acceptable picture. Same as if I were to go in the other direction, it could keep opening the f-stop all the way, or I'm sorry, raising the f-stop, which is closing the hole smaller, till it's going to start, it can't go any farther, it's going to just start to blink. So if you want to stay within the acceptable range, you want to hit the shutter button halfway down and watch what your different f-stop is when you're in shutter priority or time value mode. Now the neat thing about this camera is that you can reverse this whole process and decide I want my aperture to be the priority so if I want to take a portrait and have the background be way out of focus I would turn my top dial here to AV mode aperture priority now I can dial that aperture all the way up to up 22 or above which is going to give you so much stuff in focus which is great for landscaping or I could dial it down to 5.6 in this case, which is going to be more apt to put the background out of focus. If I want to see what my shutter speed is while I'm doing my f-stop, I simply hold this button down halfway and I don't even have to hold it all the time, I just have to push it for a half a second. And you'll notice as I dial in my different f-stops, the camera chooses the shutter speed that would be appropriate. So it's going to say I want everything in focus. I want to do a landscape. I'll just dial it up to f25 and it tells me that it's going to be one sixth of a second. Um, it disappeared because I have to hold the shutter button down again. But remember, like with what we were dealing with before, if you go in one direction or the other, watch what happens. It's just going to stop. It's not even going to blink. It's not going to let you go any farther in one direction or the other.
far away in the distance, you can cut everything out by the people, and a lot, I like that one a lot.